you think of this then? This, or rather that section anyway, is called Buys and Clean. <laughs> Don't like the name, but uh, that's, that's just the way it is. I didn't like buys and either, and I don't like buys and clean, but there we are. So, what I've done is I've done units of it, and I've joined them together with some 18SWG 316s. And, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make this. It is lovely. It's a mixture of Byzantine, and there's a bit of helm in there as well. A little bit of helm there. So... Yes, let's make some of that. So what we want to do first is, oh, show you the ring sizes. That might be helpful, mightn't it? Okay, so you need the little tiny ring, which is 764 in inches, Imperial. It's 20 AWG, AWG wire. It's 2.7 millimeters internal diameter. The largest of the ring is 19 SWG. 4.35 millimeters internal diameter, which is your 11.64 in inches imperial. And then I've also got some of these lovely colors that Tom from Tom's Room Shop sent to me. Um, they are, what was the color? I can't remember now, peacock blue, I think. Oh, they're beautiful, beautiful. Uh, they are your 316s, 18 SWG uh, in millimeters. What's that, 4.97? I'll put it in there anyway when I right so to start off what you want to do is get some rings out make it easier right so we start off by closing two little ones so we'll call these the small rings Yeah, so we'll call the 20AWG 2.7mm small rings. We'll call our 19SWG 4.35mm the medium rings. And then we'll call these buckets the large rings, right? Excellent. So close up two small rings. And then put in four medium rings. Those are going to go through the two small ones like that. So there's one in. Oh, I'm sat here, I've got the wind the door open, I can hear the rain. It's quite nice actually. Some days you don't like the rain, some days it just Feels like it's massaging your soul somehow. Oh God, don't quote me on that, that's awful. Right. <laughs> so we're putting, we're putting these four medium rings into these two small rings, okay? While I'm gibbering on here. And the fourth one going in, okay. Now we're going to do an orbital ring. I've done orbital rings with you before, but if you haven't been here before, this will obviously be the first time you'll have seen me do it. So we open a ring, a medium ring, and we open it quite wide. Because quite wide, what we want to do is we want it to go around the two small ones between the two sets of two medium rings there. So he's going to sit there right and this is quite fiddly so i'm hoping it'll get it right on camera first time oops as she throws the ring away so it's got to go round those two small ones there you go see so we sort of lie in between the two sets of two just going around the middle the little tiny rings in the middle. And we close that up. And then what we've got is that look, that orbital ring there. Sometimes if you don't open your ring wide enough, it's quite awkward and then it just gets frustrating. But 
open your ring wide enough and then thankfully it went round for the first time for me then so there we go that's that so open up some more medium rings now we're gonna want let me think one two three four four more medium rings and that will give us a unit of bison clean done two three four right so pick up that and what I want you to do is just fold those open and the same on the other side so you get that look de -de 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 -de. looks like a little space invader <laughs> what the hell okay so what we want to do now is take one, <laughs> one of your medium rings Put it through there to secure that, that now, right? Bloody space invaders. Right. One. And then another one in the same place. Yeah. Okay. And then the same on the other side. And another two in there. And the two that we're putting in are actually the ones that we're going to fold back. So, put them in there, that one in there, rather. Like that. And one more. In there, like that. It's starting to stiffen up now, look, see? So, what happens with these rings? These are the ones I just put in. See how they want, they want to bend back on themselves, look, see? So let them bend back. Now that, I know it's a bit wiggly, but that is your unit of bison clean. The way that it stays together is when you join the units together. So, for example, just take one of these. When you put a ring in through there and you grab those two, it pulls them out, look. And then that becomes a unit of bison clean then. So, once you've got that done, and it looks like a bit like a mess, but it is correct, you just need a couple of them. So, we'll make another one. Oh, I tell you what, we'll join it to my existing one so I can show you. So, there's what I've just made, right, minus the two, uh, the two on the end. So, let me just put two in the end there. So, that's those last two medium rings of the unit being placed. See? So there's our little bit of helm in the middle that we created. So that now, that messy end is essentially the same as what we've got on that. When we take our 18 SWG coloured large ring or anything, you, I mean, you can choose to join with whatever you want. Make sure they're folded back. Put one through. And grab those two there like that, look. And then that pulls them into position. Yeah. And then we take the new unit that we've just made. Make sure the two rings on one of the sides are folded back, folded on themselves like that. And go through and pick them up. Pick them up like that. Close them up. And then see how that pulls that into shape. And then that's, that end then is how we're ready for our next one. What we'll do is we'll bend those back on themselves, grab those rings like that, and join them to the next unit. Sneaky. So shall we make another unit just to show you again? So we want... Two closed rings. The small rings. One, oh, 
The rain, so rainy. Two, right into those two small rings. We want to put four of the medium rings. So there's one. There's two. Uh, three. And one more. In there. So there's our four rings into two small rings. So now we're just going to put that orbital around those two small rings in the middle. I said around, Catherine, not through. There you go, they're around. Yeah, we just need to close that up. That gives us that orbital ring. And then that little helm section is created when we open these up. So you open those and fold them towards each other like that. And that gives you that helm bit in the middle. And now a little space invader. Okay. So, four medium rings to complete the unit. Where did he go? So, two in either end. One. Two. And then two in the other end. One. Two. Like that. Okay, there's our unit done. And then we're ready to join. So let's open up some of these. Look at that colour. Delicious. Right, so let me just check as well. Did I double up? No, I didn't double that one last time. So I'll just throw another ring in there. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to add our new one. So... Fold those back on themselves like that. And where we're going is through those rings like that and pulling them out. See? Like that. And then you're doing the same on your new unit. So you're going through there and through there and you're pulling them out, look. There you go. And that does that. I'm going to put another of the 18 SWG coloured ones in now, just to double that up. One. Two. I'm awfully fiddly this morning, apologies for that. Not very smooth, but never mind. It gets you there, doesn't it? At least you can see what to do. Um, and that's it. That's bye, Zantlin. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day.